So, things to depopulate off of a motherboard. First off is the BGA chips. Some of them have circles like this. Some of them look like this. But they have the base gold corner. Okay, so to remove that, I use a paint scraper because it's thin. Find a good entry without many things here so I can lay it flat. Start on the corner, tap it with your hammer. Uh, and get right under the green base and then just continue to tap and it'll pop right off. So <clears throat> that's basically the concept with pretty much everything. I'll start from here. You can remove the tantalums. But just the yellow ones. Don't worry about these ones. Uh, they're good with a chisel. Like so. hammer right off then you've got little IC chips they are easily chiseled off this is another type of BGA chip without a green base but it's essentially the cap and it's got soldering underneath so that can just go in with the other BGA types these ones <coughs> These are pins, plated as you can see. Uh, I take a chisel. I have a bigger chisel over there. But essentially, I just take the chisel, hit this because there's a soldered connection there. And then hit there, hit there, hit there, hit there, separating the pins and the whole thing will just peel off. And then you get the other side, and then this one. Um, battery connection. Those are plated nicely. Those can go with the pins. IC chip. Square. Four sides. These are medium grade chips, so there's bonding wire in here, as well as here, here, possibly these two, here, 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 more tantalums, uh, and then you've got these connectors, connectors, you got usually like USB, video, all these ports. Ethernet, internet, <clears throat> all that stuff. It's all plated material in there. Uh, a little difficult to get at. They don't come off very easily. Um, pair of pliers to pry them off even. A large chisel with a good hammer. Uh, but they come off. Anyway, there's another BGA, see?
IC chip. Uh, more plated wires. Another BGA type chip. And more pins here. Essentially the type that have these clips are good ones. So like a little RAM chip here, those are IC chips. Those are those and here. Here. Uh, I'm looking for crystal oscillator. But I don't think this one has one. Yes, it does. <clears throat> They're little. But it's right there. See the look of it? You can see the gold around the edge. And if you take it off... There's one there. If you take it off and look at the underneath, you'll see that it's actually a ceramic chip. With a cap. <clears throat> There's bonding wires inside there as well as gold that you can see there in the solder joint. So these are decent. Best to remove the batteries. Any batteries you find, just rip them off, store them all properly. Don't want to take risks with batteries. These are MLCCs, monolithic ceramic capacitors. Uh, you know, I don't, there's silver in these, but you need uh, so many of them. Uh, I'm not sure how worth it is. Worth it, it is to collect them. So, uh, another look real quick at a, at a different board just to, just to have a different view. You'll see sometimes clips like this that are gold plated. Tear them off with a needle nose. All the connections on the side again. BGA chips. And much more of the same stuff. But. <coughs> if we're to look at a desktop. There's pins like this. Those are nicely plated pins. Snip those off with wire cutters one by one. It's really the only easiest way. They're very strong, it's iron. As well as these. Doesn't matter what color they are, but the pins themselves are nicely plated. So that about sums up what I collect. Um, in order to process and everything gets kept together uh, so hopefully that'll help you seek out parts to collect uh, I'm sure there's other things that are on there but uh, when you got a lot of motherboards to go through I mean it's a lot of work cherry picking so, good luck.